from a place I remember when the vessel had first docked upon our shore. At first, I was unsure as up to their purpose. While the people of my village had stood there amazed, thinking to myself, I began to say or question, from where did this big ship appear? Out of thin air, out of nowhere, and the most important question of all is, why is it that they come here? You see, me being a king, these are things I had to evaluate. As my brain started to race and my heart began to beat fast as he finally made his way from his boat to our land and upon our sand from which he had first stepped foot with this precious book that he declared to be so holy yet he held it so closely next to a tool I would come to know later on in life as a gun. I knew right then and there I should have told my people to split, break, or run though I'm not dumb I heard him say he had come in peace but my brain had translated his words into we got beef. He said he was a missionary, but all I heard was mercenary, mercenary. But since the people in my village are so friendly, so generous, and so kind, for several days and several nights, they gave this stranger the benefit of the doubt. Until one day he tried to change our ways and throw our culture out. He declared us to be savages, untamed. Can you imagine the nerve of this ghost face trying to say? that the only true way to civilization was through his book. But take a second look. My people have been doing this for years. Since the beginning of dawn, we have been here. Our history is timeless. We ain't no new discovery. You didn't just find us. So he replied with this vicious lie and began to scream at the top of his lungs that he was the son of G.O.D. and that him and his band of mercenaries was here to set us free. The people in my village had turned to me and asked what did I believe. I in turn asked the ghost-faced man if he indeed thought himself to be the son of G.O.D. And he said unto me, Savage King, who are you to question me? So I told one of my warriors to throw a spear through his knee because once I seen him bleed, I knew he too could suffer defeat. So I ordered my warriors to attack. But with one wave of the ghost-faced man's hand, I heard a thunderous clap. Bow! I looked back. The warrior who had thrown the spear had been shot dead right where him stand. The killer slash preacher had ran, but my man wouldn't let him go. He tried to reload, they beat him to a hope the other mercenaries had ran for their life. Back to their boat, leaving their captain on this island, stranded and all alone. Later on that evening, we fed his flesh, his flesh to the fish and broke bread with his bones. We gave his clothes into the fire to cleanse away the funk of his cologne. And in spite of all these things, we did to cleanse our island, our village, our home. In spite of all that, as I set forward to the distance of this great blue sea, I knew down deep in my heart they're coming back. One day soon, believe you me, the mercenaries will be back. <laughs>